Good morning, guys. It's early as fuck. I'm just taking this to let you guys know that I lost all the fucking footage for the first half of the video. <laughs> I don't have a fucking clue where it went, so it's a great start to the video. The footage is all gone, so at this point, I'm kind of just like throwing clips together and putting everything back together for you guys. All right, so one thing that you want to make sure that you're going to do is clean your nuts because you got to put some lock cock on there. So make sure that your nuts are all cleaned up. Then you want to go ahead and take your lock cock or thread locker, whatever you want to call it. I like to call it lock cock. I'll be honest with you guys, I, I torqued this off camera, but if you guys could see like what I had going on here, basically I put the bolt through the hole, which is going through the flange, and then it's prying against the frame, like I said, so now I have that leverage to get my 125. There's our 125. I fucked hope we're not wedged in there that we're wedged Fuck. <sighs> that's it guys that is it well i didn't even really need any tools uh when i put the 18 on the end of the bolt i was pretty much just able to loosen the nut enough to break everything Oh, don't want to get that in the f***ing face. So we just torqued that down to 125 foot-pounds, and uh, basically what that does is it properly sits the flange in place. So it's a two-step torquing process. So basically you got to torque it to 125, and then take the nut back off again, put some Loctite on it, and torque it to 89 foot-pounds. So that's what we're going to do. Let me go get some lock cock and some f***ing... I got to go get my impact. I'll be right back. One thing I didn't do was grease my seal, which I should have done. But as you guys can see, everything's seating properly. We're gonna check the flange, make sure that everything's turning well, which it is. It's turning really well. It's a bit more slop than there was before, but that's why we're gonna put the nut back on. It should fix all that slack and slop and sloppy dop. All right, so one thing that you wanna make sure that you're gonna do is clean your nuts. Cause you gotta put some lock cock on there. So make sure that your nuts are all cleaned up. Then you want to go ahead and take your lock cock or thread locker, whatever you want to call it. I like to call it lock cock. And then you just want to just want to put some lock cock in there, you know. Generous proportion, not a crazy amount there, but just enough. And then you're going to take it and put it all over the threads on there. You guys reckon this looks good? There we are, all fucking torqued up, ready to go, ready to fucking drift. Let's go, bitch. All right, we're wedged in again. 
Oh, shit. That's not good.